<laughs> Have you ever been disappointed by a mood ring? Which is a really stupid question because nobody really is that emotionally attached to a mood ring. But I'm gonna pretend like we all are because that's how I decided to start this video. So have you ever been disappointed by a mood ring? Probably, but you probably didn't care. But I wanna fix that. I wanna make something that feels like you're controlling a thing with your mood. You are, it is absorbing you and reflecting it back in something grander and wilder than just a ring that works right away, but a whole room. Blinky blinky lights, engaged. Go, 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 go. Okay, blinky blinky lights are going to power or be the light source for the, uh, there's gonna be a lot of them. That's just to just, just try it. Uh, it's gonna be the light source for the control panel, which I'm going to build out of poster board. And okay, that's horrifying. Poster board and these guys, which I'm gonna somehow diffuse based on your smiling and your frowning and your mood into unity. Uh, gonna control a, a light show essentially behind you. Look like the control panel full of lights is changing based on your smile and your frown. So I'm gonna get started sort of building an early prototype version of this today. Uh, it should just be blinky lights in a wall and uh, smile, frown, detect, sentence, hard, brain, no. Hey, check it out. Smile, a frown. A smile, a frown. And up in the top right, you can see uh, what I'm currently face tracking and the different anchors on my face and where they are. Smile, a frown, not a frown. frown is a lot harder to detect. There's, it's a lot more subtle of face movements. I ended up using my phone's camera instead of a webcam to detect my facial expression because my iPhone actually has a bunch of facial detection stuff already working in it. And honestly, it seems perfectly fine. <laughs> Everything works. So it's scanning right now. And then if I smile. I am become smiler. Smile of dancing. And then if I frown. Boo -hoo. So how does it work? It starts with uh, about 80 gazillion lights that I wired up together. So everything's driven in Unity then. Uh, I made basically a same layout representation as the board I created in real life, and then a whole bunch of little light sensors or light drivers, one for each light in the same layout. Then they each basically just uh, average whatever pixels are in front of them in whatever animation I wanna make, and uh, then drive each of their uh, respective lights the same color that the animation or particle system or whatever it is I end up uh, wanting to do. Uh, so you can see for example here I have a test circle that I can drag around and as I move it around each of the lights sort of lights up if it becomes out from under it and you can see you know it's happening in real time whatever I move around and drag around same idea same thing. And then when I'm actually running the real thing uh, you know, I do a fancy animation that gets sampled into, uh, you know, the light show. And then this is in test mode, so I can just use my keyboard. But as I'm frowning, for example, frowning takes over. And again, it's just sampling this. And then maybe I start to smile. You can see over here, I took my hand off the keyboard. But over here, you can see the input that's coming in. Uh, right now, it's driven by my keyboard, but it is normally driven by my face. And here's the fun little dance show. And then connected to my computer is an Arduino and the Arduino is what's connected to the uh, light show itself. That's it, thanks for watching. I hope it's not a year before I do another one of these, but maybe it will be because this isn't my job. <laughs>